Did I mention? Yeah, Jesus Christ. I know I get it. Did I mention how much I hate, 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 hate that recording in progress? You know, life was really good when we, when we just hit the button and then the little words popped up in the corner and recorded. No shit. I pushed the button. Just saying. But anyway, she's back. Because it's a she. Hi, guys. <laughs> she didn't go anywhere except to work a lot. I'm not getting into that, but I've heard just how abysmally fun it is at your one place of work. That's been work and uh, office work. It's just been ridiculous. I get one day off in the office office for like a month straight. Yeah, that's not really good. But hey, you got the cat scratch fever, kind of. <laughs> kind of. In the last two weeks, I did not need to go to work. She's just terrifying. Like I you do have, have to go for an echocardiogram on the 22nd, but you know, I'm the one that likes goes bigger, goes home with like injuries. You're the one that just has weird shit happen. Like yeah. weird shit. Weird, weird shit. Doctor's appointment and then when something does go wrong. Like, well, see, excuse websites, because that usually passes in like a week. <laughs> I hey, been for a month and a half. Hey, I mean, look at me growing up. Not like I ever went to the doctor, had that thing on my hand. No one knew what it was, except for Dr. Smith, which is great. He wasn't a specialist or anything. Uh, collarbone. I mean, they knew me at the ER. Then, except for my knee, I didn't have to go to a doctor until, what was that? What did I do? Oh, yeah, and I got ran over. Yeah. And now I really don't know why I go to the doctor's. Because my last appointment, he literally like, like asked me what my chief complaint was, and I told him it was my neck. And he told me my x-rays came back clear, so hopefully one day they'll be able to have a test where they can actually see what level of pain I'm, of pain people are in. And until then, deal with it. Like, what the fuck was the point of even doing this? Like, you could have texted me. I'm like, hey, what's wrong? Neck, deal with it. I would have been mad, but it would have been <laughs> over. I wouldn't have been waiting an extra 30 minutes just for him to call laying under a car, praying to God that somebody's damn oil filter would come off. Thank you for listening to that prayer, God. I appreciate you. <laughs> My shoulder appreciates it. But on to the good stuff. What the hell do you want to talk about today? Can we talk about the sprinter? I believe it was a sprinter that you know got thrown off the Olympic team for marijuana. That's exciting, uh, isn't it? I didn't hear about that one. Yeah, but and, and, see, I only have bad feelings because... Like, I get it. Yeah, whatever. It's technically a drug. But I mean, like, it it's said. A performance enhancing one. Yeah. I'm um, like, it said that uh, if I read everything correctly, that it was from a test she did way before the event. Like, how in the hell did you, like, not find out until like the day of or the day after the competition that she had it in her system? Like, you can go and join the military, you pee in a cup, and they can tell you what the hell is in your system. How the hell is it like the USOC taking that long to do tests? It takes five minutes. Like she wouldn't have ever the competed. ER, they, they can tell right you away. Go to, you go to the ER and the first thing they do is ask you to pee in a cup because they want to make sure that this is actually a problem, not just drug seeking behavior. So they want to make sure you don't have any kinds of drugs in your system. Yeah. Like, yeah, they get those results within an hour. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand it. I mean, the, I mean, Granted, they could be, you know, checking for bigger stuff like, you know, steroids and all that in there too. But I mean, that, yeah. I mean, you could be able to, how much pee they give us, they could run multiple tests and figure that stuff out way before, after she won. Yeah. That's, like, that's I, like throwing people off for that. I don't know. I've always had a place for thinking that's stupid. Yeah. And especially for, like, again, it's not a steroid or anything. Informers I'm enhancing, and if anything, it would be performing like debilitating, like it's weed. I think it's if stoned, she, you're not exactly focusing on training. <laughs> think if she <laughs> wasn't <laughs> like thinking where her lungs would be, she wasn't a smoker. I mean, it probably actually slowed her down, if anything, yeah. and she still won. And now she's not gonna make it, but that girl, woman, idiot, I said she wasn't disrespecting the flag. I mean, yeah, she turned away from it, and put her hand on her hip after she came in, you know, third. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, she gets to go. Don't worry, I only heard about it. Like, yeah. communist. 
I want to disrespect it. Well, I mean, you know. Mentioned on Pat Gray. We've heard about that. You know, that's the kind of stuff that I mean. You're supposed to be there representing us in front of the world. Exactly. Yeah. And showing your ass. And then go represent our country. I'm sorry. How many people stop being indoctrinated? Guess how your ass got where you are to even train and qualify to be on the Olympic team. You busted your ass and got yourself out of wherever the hell you were from. Like exactly. a lot of these people do, you know, and uh, yeah, but you know, keep keep playing the you know the politic stupid ass game. It's doing very well right now. Cory Bush over uh, Fourth of July weekend. Now they're tweeting that you know this holiday is racist because it only celebrates white freedom because black people were not free on that date and still aren't free. Like white people. Okay, I get that at the time white people were always had real freedom because slavery was still thing. I get that. Technically, we were still slaves there. Still aren't free. You're saying now they still aren't free. Like, like Corey, you, a black congresswoman, are tweeting a black people aren't free. (laughs) Like, if you aren't free, how the hell did you get where you are? How do you become a congresswoman in a country where black people aren't free? I've never seen slaves get you know parts in the federal government unless they were like you know. I don't know, mopping the floors or or, or like that. That's like slave did. They don't like get to make policy. And, exactly. Yeah, like make legislation and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we had so, a black president for eight years. Pretty sure slaves can't be black, can't be president. Hey. Like, an enslaved black person is not going to be a president. Okay. Hey. Like, but rem- person is, of any color is not going to become president. You know what I mean? Re- remember, according to him in his book, I call him Barry. Because he's not worth that many letters or respect. Did indeed write that the only reason Trump got elected was because all us white folk felt, you know, guilty for having a black man in the Oval Office for two terms. Like you do realize the thirteen percent, like you do realize the minority population that, like, you needed millions of white people to vote for you, not only once but twice. Not and a lot of those, and a lot of those white people voted for Hillary, even with the scandal and saying that she would like allow like babies being born to be murdered, like, oh, you can, like abortions up to 36 weeks. Like, like that's actually technically murder because it has a heartbeat one. Um, that's probably what killed her. Well, it's beyond, not just the, like, okay, so the heartbeat thing that starts really early in pregnancy and there's been all kinds of arguments about, yeah, well, all kinds of stuff about that, brain but activity that's, and crap. that's what did but it. That's what really killed her in the talking about, It's got the heartbeat, the fully functioning brain, the fully functioning freaking uh, nervous system. It can feel everything that's happening. So it can hear you. Like that, it's definitely a person. There's no arguing about it. It's alive, living person. Yeah. But, Condoning uh, murder. That's always fun, isn't yeah. it? But yeah, that's. But she is a Clinton. So it's not like. You know, it's, it's saying you know Trump only got elected to one another black person. It's like there were no other black candidates. <laughs> no black person was running that year. It was him or Hillary. <laughs> and Hillary knows a thing or two about killing, which is why she's all screw it, kill him. I don't care. <laughs> like we know, we <laughs> know. No one's ever had that many business associates turn on them and then randomly suddenly commit suicide. Yeah. You and know, it's the latest one, the uh, McAfee guy. <laughs> yeah, guys, like the latest. <laughs> Trust and believe what. I ain't suiciding myself. So if, if I come up dead, I can't wait to see how many people get taken out because that judge ruled that they need to unmask all the uh, Epstein stuff, Epstein stuff when it comes to the Clintons. I can't wait to see how many bodies fall because of that. At least all information that has to do with linking the you know, Clintons to Jeffrey Epstein. You know that's going to go terribly. Bodies will fall. I'll be sitting here laughing. Yeah. Why didn't I see if anything happens to Tom Cruise? You know that when the Epstein, you know, flight list came out, suddenly he and his wife relocated to Greece and like it changed citizenship in every permanent kind of way. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, like got the hell out. Like is yeah, there an ex- real fast? <laughs> is there an extradition treaty between us and Greece? I'm guessing there isn't. I have no idea. Well, why else would they go there? Like, can't get us here. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're no, we're not like even the, no longer U.S. citizens, but try and get us. 
Yeah, that's exactly. And everyone's all, oh, Jesse, you're just thinking too hard. Who in their right mind, when the person they want to win somehow gets a couple million votes at four o'clock in the morning, but, you know, and no one else got any, but who's counting? Uh, 200,000 ballots less when they actually fully counted them all, what, last month? And they did a full thing on it, and there's 200,000 less. Yeah, the full audit. 200,000 missing ballots. 200,000. There are 200,000 less physical ballots than were counted. Just saying. But we're crazy. But yeah, when, he wins, no yeah, when, he, when he wins and your ass still denounces your U.S. citizenship to flee to another country, and you still work and in Hollywood, and, comes out. Yeah. And, you, and you still work in Greece, like work in the U.S. to do movies, but you're like, I'm sorry, flight list, I'm out. Yep. So, I, so I still love Ricky Gervais. I love when that video pops up in front of me. But he's your friend. But he's your friend, not mine. Deal with it. Like, that's my guy. But hey, he said, don't put me on there as a host. He said it. He kept saying it. It's not his fault that no one listened. But Tom Hanks sure did look pissed when they you know, put the camera on him while he was having oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tom Hanks looked mad. He wasn't laughing. He was pissed. Adam Driver was laughing. Oh, yeah. He kind of had a similar look to the one he has in the circle. He's on stage looking at uh, what's the face's character, like he's kind of killer and the loss of his character. <laughs> it was a very similar expression. You know, it's been uh, the best part about that, though, before we switch over but back to it. But the only person in the room that was actually laughing with all the bad things that they say about Marines. What Marines, what you shouldn't make jokes about, what Marines make jokes about, like all the terrible things, which are all very true. We do make jokes about just all kinds of terrible, dastardly things that you shouldn't. When Adam Driver is the one person in the room laughing, like when the U.S. Marine is getting a kick of just the rest of the room getting ripped for being just scumbags, I guess is the, I guess is the best word. Like, you know, you have, when Tom Hanks looks like he's going to kill somebody and Adam Driver yeah. is having the time of his life. It's a good night for me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, granted, everyone blames him for killing, you know, toys, you know, Star Wars. That was Disney. That wasn't him. He just played his role. Yeah, he played his role well. He played his role well. I mean, I was pissed when I finally turned on whatever episode it was where he kills, like, his dad. I'm like, what the? Like, this yeah. is what I turn it on for? Bullshit. But, yeah, yeah all those people fleeing. Killer, I mean, ooh, unmask those documents. Dear your honor. What? Your, fly, flee. I don't know. Find an old mine shaft and hide in it. Because they will get your ass. No one is safe from killery. Yeah. But he, and her head seems to get bigger every year. Like every year, Bill looks more close to death and her head grows. So like for every person she has oh, killed, her head grows growing, an eighth of an inch. Or like her shoulders are shrinking. I just like losing bone mass of her butt her skull and just making her head look bigger. Maybe her head is her hair is like poofier or I don't know. But. Her head is ginormous. I mean, look at her back in the day. Look at her now. Like, well, you were fully matured. Yeah, when everyone saw you when he was present, your head is like three times the size of you. Okay, maybe not three, but there's definitely a lot more skull on that woman. <laughs> for every person she kills, like like Pinocchio. He lies, his nose get bigger. Every time Hillary kills someone, her head gets bigger. Sorry, Does every time- kill them directly or just have them kill Every them? time one of her associates oh, ends up killing themselves, her head gets bigger. Ever seen so many suicides? I mean, trust me, just lost another guy that I deployed with yesterday or the day before. My head ain't getting bigger. I know all about suicides. No one has, I haven't even had as many associates. I call them all associates. As they have. That's terrifying. In an awesome way. Very awesome way. But yeah, Corey Bush and like all, they're just like our, our people were still like slaves here at that point. Like, yeah, our like, people were still doing the whole indentured services thing. Like, okay. Yeah, we were still at that exact time. And I hate to steal one from Kevin and Keith. Except for an occasional, yeah. <laughs> but did you think a bunch of white folk from America were risking all that stuff in the ship, scurvy, all that sickness to go over there, hunt down tribes, people, pack their asses on a boat and bring them over here to sell them? Oh, no. It was your rival tribes over there in Africa that were going down, raping, hunting, pillaging. Mm -hmm. 
you know, people that's and selling them the fuck off. Is, but, and they didn't just sell them to us. It was, it was like They're all over European the place. countries, all over the place. Like it was not like America is the only country ever had slaves. But some of like slavery was a new concept. Hey. Hey, like, apparent, apparently the, the, the Romans and the Egyptians, and apparently yeah, none of them ever had slaves before Jesus even came around. The, B.C. Yeah. There were slaves, yeah, like, B.C. Yeah. Way like, B.C. The Egyptians enslaved the Jews. It was a thing. <laughs> Everyone keeps going after the Jews. Thousands of years before. Poor Jews. They even existed. But, yeah, slavery is apparently exclusively an American. So. And if you're stupid. I know. It's completely ridiculous. Just like then, stupid people. It's like, you know, oh, they're, they're, you know, we're still not free. I'm sorry, but slavery was ended. Black men got the vote with the right to vote well before women got the right to vote. And women now have that right, you know, as well as the right to run for Congress and other decisions. Like, you know, we have, you know, black Supreme Court justices, we have black and black female members of Congress, we've had a black president. There are we remembering? No black feeling for black people in are, this country. Are we remembering? Don't thing, forget. Don't forget uh, how good, nice the Democrats were to uh, Justice Thomas when they tried to get him on the bench. It's not like why did he say that was this digital? I know he said there was a lynching. I don't remember what kind of lynching he says, but said it was. But yeah, he said it was pretty much a lynching when they when the Democrats just ripped him the. Part and it was all the race card because that's all they have. And here we are. Thurgood Marshall, I don't know, it's Clarence Thomas. Thurgood Marshall, wow. Thank God. Let's go right back on yeah. track. Yeah. Clarence Thomas. <laughs> like that was what? I want to say early 90s. Something like that. Yeah, him and Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I mean, like she got treated, yeah, nicer because, well, she was lefty. You know, they treat themselves. But Clarence Thomas, he compared it to a lynching. Why? Because they just pulled the, 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 30 years later, they still have the race card, just like I was talking to Drew during the election cycle. You know, commies. I don't know what you guys are always going after the commies since Reagan. I'm like, yeah, funny fact, we still are. And you're supporting them because you're dumb. Communism bad. Kills millions of people. Bad. I don't know why that has to be like explained to anybody. But How about y'all actually open the book? People who support communism because communism is a horrible system that kills people. Okay? It, it increases either. the gap between the wealthy yeah. and the poor. It just buries the poor. And lots and lots of people die. Every time a communist regime takes over, millions of deaths occur. And we're not just People talking deaths. Why we fight communism? Like, and, and we're not just talking deaths from the government. Yeah, the, dem the from the government killing people. We're talking about poverty. What? Yeah, poverty, starvation. Uh, people Crime. Each other for food. You know, like all hell breaks loose every time. Yeah. Genocide. Oh, shout oh, out yeah. to the like, shout like out the for the Uyghurs. The, yeah, the Communist Party in China. Hey, they're only sterilizing people. That's okay. It's a cultural thing. Isn't that what Joe said? It's a cultural thing. Oh, yeah. It's like it's, 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 like it's mass murder and sterilization. Yeah. But that's, it's okay. It's, you know, World War II, when that happened, it was a travesty and we had to stop it. But now it's now. It's now we, uh, now I, guess, I guess it's not part of German culture. So it's okay for us to stop it when it happened there. You know. You know. But it, Woe is me. It, it, you know, apparently it's, it's really acceptable in China. Yeah, but that, that argument, I always love that. Like, you guys always fighting commies. Like, I don't know if you realize this, Drew, but, I mean, did you see how many Cubans Trump picked up when the left started pulling all this shit that voted for him this time? Like, why? Because what did they all say? We've seen communism. We know where it all starts. We know what's There's happening here. Converted. There's a reason we came here. What, we ain't dealing with that shit again. And guess what? People that have actually lived in communism see it and voted for Trump. Because, you know, they're from third world, they're from third world shitholes and they still aren't as stupid as people in this country. They, they lived it and they don't want to live it again. Been there, they done that. Their Been there, done that. Here refuse and, to learn their yeah. history and are doomed to repeat it because they're stupid. The best part about this, been there, done that situation. Been there, done that. And the commies even stole their t-shirt. 
They didn't even get a shirt. Communist bastards stole it off their back. Yep. Damn it. For the love of God. Then they're done that and some cocksucker stole my t-shirt. It happens in those situations every single time. But somehow, we are the crazy people. I mean, I know I'm crazy. All things aside. But I'm a crazy person that can read. I like history. Because I don't like to see shit keep happening. Think. Think. I know. She was always teaching us outside of school. We went to we went to public school, but we were also kind of home educated at the same time. So oh, like, yeah. we always encouraged us to read and actually yeah. watch things like the History Channel, not just you know, in our family. in our situation. Though I must say, because that was back when Rendell like there's people you know like it flip flopped every couple of years. You know, Democrats Republican like it never has like held a stronghold in Pennsylvania. I mean, it does seem to flip flop a little bit. Yeah, that's why we're kind of preparing. Yeah, yeah, between regimes, but uh, we got lucky when it came to that. Minus Mr. Sinclair, if you're listening, you and your stupid fucking sweaters, sit and spin. I'm not going to finish the sentence, but we all know how I feel about him. <laughs> but we got lucky. We had Rez. Yeah, Rez. Is awesome. We had we had uh, Healy. Yeah. He loved it. Uh, Mr. Herring yeah. loved history. He, Loved oh, history yeah. at a terrifying level. He loves yeah. history, scary. Like he, yeah. I love me some history. He really loved it. And, and he was you know, a lot of schools. They don't really cover the Holocaust fairly at bank in high school. He was like, "Here's documentaries with I can show black and white footage of the mass graves. Look at the bodies. Look at the damage. Yeah. Tear it into your memory." <laughs> so he never let it happen again. Do not like, let I, this happen again. Yeah, I love I love Mr. Heron. Yeah, him and he, him, Healy and. Rez. Yeah, and we can throw Gorali in there for you know comedic relief. Yeah. yeah. Well, keep, your eyes, keep your eyes on your fries. Also, what yeah. the, does that even mean? Animal Farm right here. Mr. Puska, who Mrs. Keeney now she's married. But she made sure we read Animal Farm. She made sure we watched the movie with the unnecessarily scary pigs, you know, to throw in our heads. No communism. Communism bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like we got like my big like like even like the teachers that you hated not to mention any names if i knew his first name i'd call him by it right now oh we have mr shimola no offense to mr shimola but mr shimola was good like i don't think she liked me very much even though you said she heard your name and went yeah. your brother was great like your brother yeah. never showed up to it's school and she threatened to call, she threatened to call the cops on my ass the day the day the strike came back and I was on the news that morning, and then somebody missed the bus. Yes, granted, I was on the news and I really tried to just go home and say, screw it, I'm done for the day. And then somebody <laughs> happened to miss the bus, like, oh no, what? Well, I'll just come here to pick up Heather. How the hell did you know? Just get in the truck, Heather. Like, just get <laughs> in the truck. Huh? Just get in there. I tried. You know, I'll get you for you know trespassing if you do it again. I went, I picked up what? Go check the records. What? I went and picked up my little sister. And look, I made it back. Before, without missing a single minute of a class. Deal with it. Should I have made it to Whitehaven that fast? No. Should I have made it that fast back? Hell no. But did I miss a minute of school that day, except for homeroom? No. And there was proof of you signing your ass in too. So, suck on that. But we got lucky with it because there's a lot of schools, public schools, all that work. Uh, they've been getting indoctrinated for forever. Oh, yeah. Detroit, yeah, Chicago, yeah. Baltimore, places yeah, in California. Cool. I'm sure Oakland has to be right there oh, yeah. for how big of a hole that place is. No offense to Oakland, but guess what? My Raiders left again. So, yeah. you. Yeah, my, uh, my, my education was definitely not indoctrinated. Yeah, like, we got education. We got, like, lucky yeah, luck. Education. I mean, think. We got education I, that had me, like, Correcting my college professors for education. Like, yeah, like I was my English class. Oh my God. English what I want in college. I should have been teaching the class. I mean, I probably could have. We had a sentence that had a compound subject. The professor did not know what the hell a compound subject was. Thank you, Rose. It's a compound Rose? subject. Now, I learned that from uh, before I, long before I had this. I learned that in elementary school from Mrs. Swank. I, oh, I love Mrs. Swank. I just, I just don't remember. 
one iota of any of it because I like to use my head as a battering ram. Actually, other people like to use my head as a battering ram. <laughs> Only one, I mean, I can't think of any time where my head got hit and it was actually my goddamn fault. I mean, the first one, guy gee, two by fours, slabs of concrete, <laughs> baseballs. I mean, you know, it goes on and on and on the list of times I've been blasted in the skull and it actually wasn't my fault. But Miss Swank was, I do remember she was good. Yeah, she was a really good teacher. Was that uh, Pet Miss Petros? I don't remember what the hell she taught, but I know um, she was a cantankerous, miserable old woman. And I appreciated her level of just you. She didn't say it, but oh, yeah. you could read that body language. You know, go yourself, all of you. Like, I respect you. Like, at least you're telling the truth. Like, you don't want to be there. You let everyone know you didn't want to be there. And you weren't going to take any shit from anyone because you didn't want to be there. I can respect that. But we got lucky. We got lucky, yeah, lucky. Really and I probably could have taught an English class in college because I tested out, like I scored perfect on the writing stuff. So yeah, you only have to take one. Like, damn it. And it wasn't a 101. And well, you tested out, so you're going to like English. Like, yeah. yeah, I didn't take any tests before I tested out. Probably could have, yeah. but uh, so we're going to sit in that class and she couldn't explain it. I was like, what's the subject of the sentence? And she couldn't figure it out. And I explained, it's a compound subject. And she's like, what's a compound subject? The, the teacher, not the, not the confused student. Oh, and like, you, know, you learn about them when you diagram sentences. She's like, diagram a sentence? Like, in sixth grade. Huh. What's a compound, <laughs> what's a compound <laughs> subject? What's a compound subject? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus how Christ. You open, yeah, how about you open that textbook you made us all buy that we never opened in your class? And read it yourself because it's there. <laughs> I mean, but who wants to do a thing like read when they're getting paid that much money to do absolutely nothing? Yeah. It was that last. It was that last chance, right? Yeah, it was LCC. She, she was an adjunct professor. And just so everyone knows, it was that LCCC, not to be confused with LCCF. Even though the education level is probably equal between the community college and the correctional facility, but. <laughs> It's going throw it out there was LCC, it was L triple C, not LCCF. Yeah, that's certainly someone that was. And there's Daisy barking away, so apparently she even got it. Yeah, yeah. someone uh, I, I know, certainly someone who was in the uh, other one. I was, in, I was in high school, and you're comparing, we're taking the same classes. We're oh. both learning Pythagorean theorem at the same time. How about that? Pythagorean theorem. Thank God no one, hopefully no one ever asked me to spell it or describe it at all. Why don't you tell me? I'm great, but like what? I don't remember. I don't remember why I stand up half the time. So let's just. I don't plan on uh, doing any roof work anytime soon. I don't think all people will need that information. But, you know, you know but we did get we did get really, really lucky. And while we're on the subject of education. Wasn't it the biggest teachers union just voted you know, in all 1,400 schools? You know, they're going to teach critical race theory in all 1,400 of the schools they run. Yeah, that actually just happened. In case you didn't know, doesn't that sound fun? Shows and you how much. If they had children, they'd be homeschooled. This is why I'm pretty sure the rate, the temperature is going in the country and with all this shit going on, I'm pretty sure that's why the public schooling system is going to absolutely collapse. And there's not going to be anything because people seem a lot angrier about um, since, let's say, the last two years or so, all of us regular folks are like, no shit, no really, like, we're done. Go fuck yourselves. We're done. Have fun. We'll homeschool or go to spend money into a private school or a charter school and actually learn real shit because. Oh, even spending money on private school isn't a guarantee. Oh, yeah. There's still, I've seen so stories of people school, dropping out. You can follow on at our nieces' school. People going to a private school and they're firing it, conservative teachers. Hey, it, conservative. hey it, it is in Freeland though. So, I mean, are we surprised? Freeland. Freeland. What do they have? VFW. Good pizza place. That pizza place was good. I don't remember what the hell it's called, but I can get there with my eyes closed. I don't know if they offer um, gluten-free though. That's in town here. I keep forgetting about that. 
for one place for the other. Oh yeah, I, I, that's, I just had for lunch. I had a gluten-free pie from across the street, not in Tokyo. Ours had, uh, I, mean, I've never, I mean, I've had some gluten-free with Hannah's brothers. I hear, try this. Okay. But I have done pizzas without any dairy or meat. For Hannah's, and Hannah wanted them, and they're actually pretty delicious. I prefer it on the thin crust, because then there's more room for veg in your belly. Gluten free is, the gluten free is thin and crispy, and they just like I just found out, not this past one, but the one before that, that they have it there now, and they do like personal size pies. I've, I've had four. Well, I mean, no offense to that, but if I ever come back to Whitehaven. Guess what, people in Cyberville listening to this? I will be back. I'm like Frosty the Snowman. I'm, I can't quote it, but yeah, I'll be back again. I'll be back again someday. someday. <laughs> Mick Foley did it better at his retirement speech, even though he didn't retire and he kept coming back. But don't you cry. I'll be back again someday. And then if I throw a fist up there like Mick Foley, it's going to look like I'm like some white supremacist now. But I mean, like, that's as far as he can raise his arm. So, you know be happy with it but i will be back and i'm gonna get a big ass stromboli and a pie from antonio's and you can get yourself you're gluten-free i don't like your face I anything from antonio's no i can't Last remember time I got a pie from antonio's it was like so terrible like okay my son you all had issues with you know if you read i'm gluten-free and all that now so obviously it's gonna upset my stomach, but like usually it's like lower, like in my butt, like I get cramping. This I was actually nauseous after eating for like three days. And Richie, who doesn't have any of those digestive issues, just looks after they're having it too. We're like, what the hell? And it was like soggy and falling apart. And See, so they didn't cook it long enough. Since the sun took over, they've been cheating out on gradients and stuff like that. It has not been the quality. Well, don't right. worry. One day that it'll shut down and I will make it skis pizza. I'll put a picture of Antonio over the door. You're like, what? You're not forgotten. At least not by us, apparently by your kid, but yeah. not by us. <laughs> My, yeah, you, it has lowered you, the quality and increased the prices. You just you can't hold out line in pocket. Well, at least it was good the last time I was there. Yeah. Shit, that was almost three years ago. <laughs> no. Oh, to Antonio's, yes. <laughs> Shut up! <gasps> Daisy, there's nothing there. I promise you, you're not barking at anything now. There's nothing there. If there was something at the door in the driveway, you'd be having a coronary. Gotta love her. Maybe the little cat ran over and punched her in the face. That's a possibility. Maybe he likes to do that to Tracy, but like he doesn't bark, they just wind up chasing each other. She does it to Buster. Her buster assists her and takes him, but she curls up and sleeps on him, which is a good thing, but kind of makes me sad. But critical race theory, I think, is going to be the downfall of all those teachers' unions. Well, I think it's for one is yeah. It's going to be the downfall of all country. Ought to be racist. That's just. <laughs> Nope. <sighs> 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 <sighs>